Let's talk about OCR. So let's say you have images and you want to extract the text from the images. So here in this demo app, I can upload an image here. I have a nice UI here. I'm using Filestack. They are today's sponsor. And I can upload a photo from my own device or I can have a public URL. I found this one on Unsplash. I can copy and paste that right here. It will upload this image to my Filestack account. And you can see it's a menu, right? So here we have a menu with espressos, $3, cappuccino. So maybe we're building some app where users can upload photos of menus let's say now i'm going to click on uploads and after some time we get the result right here so it says espresso 3 piccolo 3.5 cappuccino 4 let's double check that so espresso 3 piccolo 3.5 yeah looks looks correct so we can add image to text functionality very easily to our apps with a file stack right lots of use cases for this i use bookkeeping software so i can take a picture of any receipt or invoice i have i can upload it and that bookkeeping software will automatically extract the text from that image so lots of use cases for this let me show you how to implement this very easily with file stack so i removed the ocr part i just have a heading here some text and this button here so if i look at my code here it's all here on the home page i have my heading here my my text and this button when i click on the button i set a state here so i set the show picker to true right so that file upload widget is called a picker and when that is true we are rendering a component here that's coming from file stack it's called the picker overlay i add my api key you can find the api key in your dashboard right here i added that to my .env.local file since it needs to be exposed on the client i added next underscore public underscore and then i can configure certain settings so i can accept only images not other files but maybe you want to allow PDF, for example. That's actually already enough to make that work. So now if I click here, you can see we get this nice picker overlay component. And I can click here, I can upload images from my own file system, external images from Google Drive, etc. When I click on close here by clicking here, we need to set the state back. And then when I actually upload an image, it will let me know here in the response which files I uploaded. So let's actually see what we get. If I do that, I'm going to upload one of my thumbnails from my previous video. So I want to upload this, I'm going to click Click upload. I'm going to see what we're going to get here in the console. Now you can see I get a result here. It's an array. Well, I only uploaded one image. And you, here we can see some information, the file name. So this is not an OCR result. This is just how I named my file. And then here we get the handle. So this is like the ID of the image, which we can then use to request OCR. When you go into your dashboard, you can also see that in the content browser here that the image has been uploaded. So here I can see that this one has been uploaded right now. So that's just for uploading the file. So now we can get its handle, but basically its ID. We're going to keep track of that in state here. And then here, when it's also finished, we set the picker to false. Okay, but now after uploading, we have the ID, the file handle here in state. So now when that state changes and we get an ID, we want to get an OCR result for that. So what I can do here is simply use use effects. We're just going to check to see if the uploaded file handle has changed and we can just make an api call to file stack so file stack provides that ocr feature so here i have file stacks base url so it's just their url and i appended my api key to this as well right very simple and then i can just use ocr with the id of the file that was uploaded and we'll get a response we're going to parse that as json then here we will get the actual ocr result right? we can put that in state here as well ocr result and we will just set that here in state so it's dot text now here if there is no uploaded file handle initially there is none so we don't want to run that so then here we should have the actual ocr result and we can render something on the page so here what we can do is we can have a heading here ocr result and then here i will have some text so ocr result with the ocr result and if that's still an empty string initially we will just render no result yet so now here you can see i didn't upload anything so we see this now to make the ocr task work in file stack we do need to add some security policy as well so if we scroll up here again so this base url i'm going to add some security information to here as well so here after my api key i just added security and then here i have is p colon example policy and then comma s for signature so we need to get a so-called policy and signature and that's very easy we can get that here from the portal here as well so i can go to security here policy and signature because you can imagine this ocr costs money so there needs to be additional security not everybody can just make that 
API call. So I'm going to enable security here. So then the requests that I make need to be signed. So now my security is on and they actually make it very easy to generate an example policy with signature so that we can test it out. Right, so in the real world, you could make a network call to your backend, which will then generate the security information, right? It's just signed upload. Uh, but for testing, we can quickly create something here. I will allow all of these calls. So then here we get an example policy. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to paste it right here in a new variable example policy. Then we also have example signature, which I will copy from here. All right. So now the base URL also includes the necessary security information because we enabled security in a dashboard. Also, the uploading of the files needs to include those security details as well. And right, so only signed uploads are allowed right now. So here, very easy to do with this component. We can just add it here as well. Add the security here as well. This is all for testing in the real world. You would get the details from a safe place like your own backend. I have other videos on my channel about signed uploads when you're doing image uploads, including with file stack. So now if I go back here and let's actually try uploading an image. So I'm going to go with this one again. Let's see what happens. I'm going to press upload. All right. So after a couple seconds, we see Docker plus Minecraft. So it got it right. Let's try another one. Uh, let's try this one a little bit trickier with this generic in there. Let's see. Right, I can also edit images here, right? So this is the file upload part. We can talk about it. I have other video on that. But now you can see use hook even with this weird generic in there. That's right, so a very quick way of adding OCR to your app. And we can make it much more sophisticated. So file stack also offers custom dictionaries so you can improve the accuracy like that different languages and you can change this with other features that file stack offers as well like text sentiment and right? so once you actually got the text from the image you can run some sentiment analysis on that even on the image itself we can do sentiment analysis I actually have another video with file stack in which we look at some other typical ai features that you want to that you could implement these days with file stack and including text sentiment you can do other things like copyright detection and document detection right so if you're building some kind of document management app App. lots of features here to explore we looked at OCR here so check out my other video on AI features that you can implement with file stack as well I want to thank file stack for sponsoring this video I want to thank you for watching the video and I hope to see you in the next one bye